So to start with, I have some cardstock paper. Um, you could use regular copy paper, but it's not going to be as strong. And I need to cut my cardstock into a square. So since it's eight and a half by eleven, I'm going to cut it uh, to be an eight and a half by eight and a half square. Then I'm going to get a ruler and measure two inches in from each corner. So I'm going to fold each side will be two inches tall. So there's one. I'm going to do this so I'll know where to fold it on all four sides. Now, I'm going to just fold it where my little dots are. You could do a straight line across if you want. So you have um, more to follow where to fold it than just those two little pin marks. There's one side. Two sides. Dot there. Three. Now, I want to fold it in half, and this doesn't have to be a hard crease because this is just not really for the basket, but just to cut the butterfly part and then fold it in half again. So I'm just going to crease it a little bit up here to hold it. And this is a hard fold because it is cardstock. But then I need to fold it diagonal to diagonal. This square right here where all the corners are is where the butterfly is going to be. And so I need that fold mostly right here. Like so. Now I don't want to have to cut through um, doubled over, it's going to be what eight layers of cardstock. So I'm going to unfold it. Um, I'm going to cut the butterfly on each corner. So I'm going to pinch that like that, and then where this fold and this fold line is, I'm going to cut about a half inch in. So, and now I'll draw the butterfly wing, which from where I cut the inch in, the half inch in, I'm just going to do a curve out to this fold line. And now, that's the top of the wing, I'll just kind of do a pretty... Um, kind of a soft S curve and then I guess I have to bring this up close and then I'll go down to a point here so chunk chunk like a V 
and then don't go past this fold line and do a little bit of a whoop, curve like that. Now if I fold it in half, it will be hopefully very perfectly symmetrical. We'll see how that goes. And then cut along the line. this right here on that fold line, just that little tiny bit. Right there. A little piece left in there. Okay. Now the top curve. It is going to be a challenge just because it keeps shifting. <laughs> okay, cut it the best you can while you hold the little tiny piece without cutting your fingers. Safety first, it's always a good thing. There. Oh, I didn't get all the way through right there. Okay, we have one side done, like so. Now we need to draw the butterfly shape. I'm going to cut down to here and then just do a curve to this diagonal point, like that, and then S curve and kind of like drawing a backwards C. And then we cut it again. Oh, and yes, here's the little cut that we make here up to the curve. little S curve thing. complicated one. <laughs> because the scissors are just wanting to cut my fingers. Oh, I cut that too kind of either. There. Da 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 da. Now we can unfold it. I'm going to put a little lip on the top of the basket, so I'm going to fold down that half inch that we cut. Like that. And all these edges. There's another little cute thing to cut off, right? There. And the last little basket edge. Like so. Now this is the side of the wings that we want to color. 
not wanting to get any permanent marker on my table. I'll put some paper under there. And then this part right here is going to be the butterfly's body. So I'm just doing a kind of a, just a black line there. And then this wing where we did this point right there. Just kind of do a wing separator. And if you want to go along the edges with black, you could do that. Whether you use markers or crayons or colored paper or pen, paint. Maybe I'll do another little veiny thing there. But you'll just want to color all of the wings however you'd like. So I will turn off the camera and do some coloring. And this is fun for kids to color the butterflies. probably make both sides of the butterfly <laughs> wings the same. Where did that color go? Let's see. I lost it. This one? Got all this, these markers here and this one looks a little darker so I'm going to go over that. Now this set of wings I could the color totally different. I just want to make the two wings somewhat the same. If you use white cardstock, the colors are going to show up so much better, like this yellow. I'm sure it's not going to look anything like yellow. Okay, I'll finish that up. It's easier if you're going to kind of do an outline on the edge of the uh, wings to just do that down here on the paper. Now we're just going to tape those corners. Just want to open up the wings. Like 
So, now another thing you can do, and be cute, is to cut one of these chenille pipe cleaners in about two, two inches long, two and a half, something like that. Cut four of them for the butterfly antennas. Fold them in half. If you want them to have a little curl on their top. And then you need another Chanel pipe cleaner for the basket handle. And I'm going to use a glue gun to glue these because it'll hold them better than, well, tape for sure, but regular glue takes so long to dry. A little glue there, and I'm going to stick it just in the corner of the basket. The glue on this inside will also help keep the corners of the basket together. So it's a added benefit to there because tape might not want to hold. glue all over my fingers now. <laughs> and last but not least, So you can use whatever color you want for the antennas. Black would have been cute, but I don't have a black pipe cleaner. Now I'm going to use a purple one for the handle. And I'm just going to put the glue down the middle of the side, like that. That's my cell phone. side. Till that cools. And look how cute. Pretty, pretty butterfly basket for spring.